I met some people like going through worse stuff than me. Kids go through hard times. You just see our natives standing up there. You see alcohol everywhere, and that's that's sad. Pine Ridge in South Dakota is the second biggest reservation in the United States, larger than Delaware and Rhode Island combined, covering more than 2.7 million acres of grasslands where buffalo still graze. But the Oglala Lakota people living here are racked by 87% unemployment, and many live in crippling poverty. Pine Ridge and neighboring Rosebud Reservations are located in two of the poorest counties in America. Alcoholism, drug addiction, domestic violence, and sexual abuse are all issues that the tribe faces. Indian children are twice as likely as any other ethnicity to die before the age of 24, according to the Indian Law and Order Commission. And often on these remote reservations, mental health services are hard to come by, leaving young people like Shauna Thornton on her own. I went through depression from what happened with me and my father. Whenever he would get drunk, I would just decide to like, just leave the house and don't come back till he sobers up. Just 20 minutes from Thornton's high school is the historic Wounded Knee Monument. At this site in December of 1890, the U.S. Cavalry massacred an estimated 300 men, women, and children of the Great Sioux Nation. That painful day is still remembered by the Lakota people, as are the promises made by the U.S. government that have not been kept. Promises that include providing health care, education, and public safety. What we figured out and we, through our work in Rosebud is it's not a question of who has been exposed to violence as a child. It's a question of who has not been exposed to violence as a child. So you can't look at the justice portion of it or look at uh, kids who are quote unquote in trouble and, and say, well, what's this kid doing here? Come on, this kid messed up. No, it's not that simple. It goes back to, I, I believe, where that child has come from and everything that's happened uh, in between. With too few police officers and a broken justice system, children often do not know where to turn. And whenever, um, when they would get drunk, I would send my dad to jail and I would have problems with his side of the family, with his, aunt, or his sisters and brothers, and they would get mad at me for putting him in jail. So I had to put up all, all of that. And then plus, at, at school, teachers would get mad at me and tell me to go bed early and, and to come to class on time and everything like that. So I know just at one point, I was getting mad at, I was getting bullied at school. I was putting up with my parents when they were drunk. I thought I didn't want to be here in, in this life no more, so I thought getting old, killing myself would be a better and easier way. My mother always said, and my grandmother as well, would always say, you only have which means you talk to them respectfully. You're going to find out a lot of things about them, okay? On the Rosebud Reservation, Pat Badhand is trying to rehabilitate troubled Indian teenagers by helping them learn more about their identity. It's believed that this is the braid of the hair of an elder. So it's kind of believed that when you, the more you use it, the more you get out of it. So the more the elder shares stories with you. A lot of the kids that we have here, 17 year olds, first time offenders, they come in here and what is it that they do the first 20, maybe almost 24 hours, maybe first six hours, eight hours, is they cry, <laughs> you know? Sometimes maybe these kids don't feel that they're put here and nobody's going to listen to them. I mean, they go to court, court puts a continued detention order on them. They don't understand the system. So you got to go in and sit down and, you know, kind of break that ice. But Bad Hand and his colleagues will soon lose part of their staff to run their programs because some of their grants have ended. A familiar story in Indian country. Fortunately or unfortunately, a lot of the funding um, for different services here on the reservation comes from different grants. Obviously, those grants have an 
end date. And so it's not something that carries on indefinitely. I think the challenge to the tribe and tribal workers is to figure out how to keep these programs sustainable once we do acquire those funds. Shauna hopes to graduate high school next year, leave the reservation, and join the Army. Like, after I get a, the military, then I kind of want to come back to the res and help out. But for now, she is still living on Pine Ridge. For the past year, she has chosen to stay with a friend's family, where she feels the safest. She still isn't getting all the help she needs to heal from the violence and alcoholism she was exposed to in her past. Sometimes I just feel like I'm alone. 